everyone, I am back with another favorites video and I can't wait to show you all the things that I am loving at the moment. So I'm going to start with hair care products. These are a few products that I haven't talked about a ton. I am loving Color Proof Shampoo and Conditioner. I've used the pink one, I believe it's for color, but I have recently started using this one. I've been using this for about two months and I have noticed a big difference in my hair. I love the smell of this and it's just done a lot of great things for my hair. So I love this so much that I was at the beauty supply store. I saw that they made a new line for blondes and I know that I'm going to want to start going a little bit blonder for the spring and summertime. So I grabbed it and this is a violet shampoo and a violet conditioner and I've never seen that before. So I have used this because I did put a few more blondes throughout my hair and I am really, really loving it. So the great thing about using a violet shampoo and conditioner is that it tones your hair. If you like to wear your hair blonde, you may have noticed that over time it can kind of pick up yellow tones and this is just going to help wash those away. It's going to tone it. Also, sometimes we can get some yellow tones when we get our hair done if it wasn't processed fully or if we had color in our hair previously. Sometimes it's hard to get all of that out. So again, this is going to help so, so much. I have used Violet Shampoo quite often, different brands, but I've never seen a conditioner. This is also supposed to help repair your hair with a bunch of awesome ingredients that get in there and do their job. So this came as a set and it also came with this uh, Signature Blonde Restorative Filler and I have loved this. So you wash your hair and then you put this on and it is supposed to help protect against breakage. Also, you know, add more shine and just bring back the life of blonde hair because when you bleach it, it tends to like strip out all of the good things that you have in your hair naturally and it can leave your hair looking a little dull or just like lifeless and like cucky and grossy sometimes. Not always, sometimes blonde hair looks beautiful and you just have really healthy hair but if you don't, my hair's a little bit more dry so when I bleach it, it's sucking even more of the you know natural oils and things in my hair. So this is going to help get in there and fill in all of those missing pieces and just add a lot more hydration. I used it all over my hair and it didn't feel greasy or gross. So that is a great, great thing. So I definitely recommend this as well. If you watch my hair tutorials, you know that I'm a big fan of big sexy hair products and I love this one. It is called Push Up. And this is going to add more texture and volume. It is a thickening finishing spray. So I've noticed such a big difference when I do my hair curly and I spray this and kind of scrunch it up and I've noticed that it feels a lot thicker, it looks fuller, and it just gives it that nice texture. And it's also great for second day hair because it's going to give your hair something to hold on to. I talked about perfume in my last favorites video, but I have become obsessed with perfume. I don't know what it is. All of a sudden I have this obsession for perfume and shoes. But I was in Ulta the other day and I saw this. This is Viva La Juicy Rose. And I just love the smell of rose. When I was a little girl, my grandma and grandpa loved the smell of roses and flowers. And so whenever I smell it, I, I just think of them. Hi. Hi. Winston's here. What are you doing? You're dirty. Were you eating treats? I was just smelling this perfume. Winston loves to smell my perfume. You say hi? Hi. <laughs> okay, do you want to go play? You can stay in here. Okay, you go sit on my bed. Okay, go sit on my bed. Wait just for a minute. Anyways, I love the smell of roses and flowers, so this is one that I love, and I've gotten so many compliments wearing it. It just smells so good. They didn't have a sample, so I just bought this in the hopes that I would love it, and I really, really do. And the bottle is so pretty. Also, I've really been loving Marc Jacobs, and they came out with this Daisy and Blush, and it is also a floral scent, and I love them both. This one is a little lighter. They're both pretty light, but this one's a little lighter, and they have very different smells. Another thing that I buy way too much of, lip gloss. I was up late one night on Instagram, and I was looking at Dose of Color, and I ended up on their website, and then I ended up ordering a bunch of different lip glosses and lipsticks. Good thing I love them all. These are some of my favorite colors. This is just such a pretty pale pink. It's petals. Next we have Bellini. And I am wearing this color with a little bit of the Vino um, lip liner from MAC. This is just such a beautiful color. Bellini. This is in the color Stone. And it is such a beautiful, beautiful color. I actually bought this for my mom because she's been looking for a color like this and she had already bought it so I kept it for myself and it's so beautiful. That is the color Stone. Just reminds me of like a dusty rose. I have 
had this planner since October and I have been using it and loving it so much. I'm much better at writing things down in a planner than putting it in my phone or something. I tend to forget about things if they're in my phone. But if I have everything written down in my planner, I check it every morning. I know what's going on or what I have planned. I write, write down what I want to shoot on each of my film days. And I can just stay so much more organized this way. So I love this. They have so many cute covers. This one says, Heart My Life. And I just thought it was cute and simple, but I did see some yesterday that were even cuter. And I was like, oh, should I get a new one? But maybe next year. So I got these at Michael's. Go and check them out. They're so, so cute. I also love that throughout the book there are inspirational quotes. This one says, she turned her cans into cans and her dreams into plans. And this is just filled with quotes and things like that that I love because we need to hear those throughout our week and day. But set up this way, it shows the month. Then you have like notes on each side and you know you can fill out the different boxes. So I like to do like a brief summary of what I'm going to do and then you can go through the different pages and write down exactly what you're going to do. So morning, afternoon, evening. Again you have the side for notes. So I like how this is set up. I know everyone kind of likes their planner set up differently but this is great for me. And then in the back I also added a few other inserts and things. One of them is like a to-do list and again I thought it was cute because it says she left beauty wherever she went. And then the to-do list just looks something like this. I also did a mill planner that I haven't used. These were all in hopes that I would get like real organized. And it just looks like this. The house cleaning. I think this all came as a set and I was just like maybe if I check it off I'll do better. <laughs> set up like that. And also budget. And this is cute. It has a big money sign. <laughs> I haven't filled any of these out yet. So just something like this. So this is such a great way to try to get more organized. Um, so yeah, they have a bunch of different inserts. If you're planning a wedding, they have a wedding inserts. I just thought it was so fun. And then also they have a bunch of different stickers. So I thought that these would be fun to add to the different days. Or, you know, using like a star for things I want to film using a, like one of these little stars for things to upload, you know, whatever you're doing. And then also some little like sticky pads to put throughout, some little tabs. More quotes and fun things to add, like love this life, life is better with friends, never give up, create your own adventure, I just love stuff like that because when you're filling out your planner, it can be overwhelming. You're like, I'm so busy. I don't know. Am I doing a good job? And then to see these cute little quotes and inspirational things, it just helps remind you that like, you're doing this. You can keep going. You can keep creating amazing things. This is something that I'm really excited about. I want my planner to be kind of like a journal, and I definitely need to be better. Right now, I've just been scheduling different things we need to go to. But at the end of every day, either on one of these little sticky notes or something, I want to write out something special about that day. Just a, a quick memory of something that happened that day. And I wanna keep track of everything that's going on. They make these page protectors that you can put photos in. You can add all sorts of things. You can see on the back they've added like photos. You could also add a little note in there. You could do this every day or you could just do this like once a month and do fun little pictures write down a little journal entry and just leave it all in there. I think that it's so great to journal that I'm not great at it. I'm glad that we have our videos, but there are things that happen that I we don't catch on camera or I think I'll never forget, but you do. So this is definitely a goal of mine, not only to be more organized, but to kind of create a journal and something fun to look back on. So since I knew I wanted to do that, this favorite inspired my next favorite. I got this super cute Polaroid camera from Michaels and I love everything about it. I love the color. I love having it. I love that my family has had so much fun using this. I wanted to have little pictures so that they would just print off right away. I didn't have to go and have them printed off somewhere because sometimes I'm bad at that. So we used this over spring break and I told everyone that they needed to take at least one picture of themselves and they didn't but I did catch some fun memories. So some of me and Winston, what's this one? Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> Winston and his girlfriend. You know, just a bunch of cute little memories. I made it like the cutest Easter egg. So just a bunch of different fun things. I know Braylee stole a couple of these and hung them up on her little magnet board, but I just think that they're so much fun. 
I'm so happy that I finally got a Polaroid camera. I've been wanting one for years. And like I mentioned, this is just a great way to hurry and pop this into your um, page protector and then have a great memory. Last but definitely not least are these cute shoes. I love these so much. I got these from Nordstrom. They are by Kristen Cavallari, and they are the cutest shoes that I have ever owned. I love these so much. So they have them in like three different colors, but I love the black the most. And it has this like cute little fringy tassel thing right here. It's kind of hard to see. And then I just love that they kind of hit up high like a booty, but then this cutout makes for a perfect sandal. I love the size of the heel and I just love these. They look perfect with skinny jeans and I think that they would be so cute with a skirt or a dress. So I definitely recommend if you see these that you should grab them. I've worn them a few times but only one night did I wear them for like five hours and they are a pretty comfy shoe. My foot did hurt by the end of the night but I was also standing the entire time. And so for standing for five hours they weren't bad at all. So aren't they so cute? that is it for another favorites video please let me know if you like these videos and if you would like to see more I love sharing the things that I love with you guys if you have any favorites that you've been trying lately please leave them down in the comments below I would love to try some of your favorites as well if you have any of these products please let me know I would love to hear if you love them and if they are on your favorites list thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time bye bye